compounds unique to living systems and contain carbon, and you might want to add in hydrogen. Uh, there are four different organic compounds in the human body, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Carbohydrates contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in a certain ratio. A ratio of hydrogen to oxygen um, is two to one. They are a major source of energy in our bodies. Lipids also contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, but they are in a different uh, proportion of oxygen and hydrogen. There are three examples um, of neutral fat or of lipids in the body: neutral fats, phospholipids, and steroids. Neutral fats are composed of one very small glycerol molecule that's attached to three fatty acid chains. Phospholipids are a modified triglyceride that only have two fatty acid tails. And these are really important when it comes to the integrity of the cell because they make up our cell membrane. Steroids come in a plethora of uh, types in the human body and they're listed below. The most common steroid when you're talking about anabolic steroids that people take to become buff um, we're talking about like testosterone and some of the sex hormones. Proteins are a different kind of organic compound. They are composed of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, and they come in combinations of 20 amino acids. So there are 20 amino acids found in the human body that make up all of the proteins, and we have many more proteins than just 20. The 20 amino acids are bonded together with a special bond called a peptide bond. And that the arrangement of those amino acid make up the different types of proteins. The very important proteins in the human body are enzymes. Enzymes are biological catalysts. And a catalyst speeds up a chemical reaction by lowering the activation energy. Enzymes almost always end in the suffix ASE, and we'll give some examples in class. Enzymes bind <clears throat> to the reactants or the substrates um, of a reaction and bond them or break them apart quicker than normally would occur without one. This slide is showing you how the enzyme works in the human body. Uh, it's showing you the enzyme itself <clears throat> that has an active site and a specific shape at that active site. And then you see the substrates that are going to fit perfectly like a puzzle piece into the active site. Once it fits into the active site, it's going to catalyze that reaction and you see that it's going to decrease that activation energy and in the end the enzyme is going to be released in the same shape that it started but now you have a new compound. Nucleic acids are the fourth of the organic compounds. They, they're composed of carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and phosphorus and these are better known as DNA and RNA. Their structural unit or monomer is called the nucleotide. And the nucleotide, or every nucleotide, is made up of a nitrogen containing base, a pentose sugar, which, which is just a five carbon sugar, and a phosphate group. The five nitrogen bases that are in either DNA or RNA are adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine, and uracil. <clears throat> Last but not least, one other compound that's very important in the human body is called adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. It is the source of energy that we use. We have to produce this at the mitochondria in the cell for immediate energy use. And this is going to become really important when we start to study the muscular system.